What's up, everybody? My name is Erin, and welcome to the Mad Maker Studio, and welcome back to the Slay the Princess demo update. We've got five achievements left. I'm going to try to finagle my way to get to them. You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. You make your way up the short path to the cabin. You'll find the princess within. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. We're not gonna go through with this, right? She's a princess. We're supposed to save princesses, not slay them. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I don't think anyone knows what they're talking about in this game. The interior of the cabin is almost entirely bare. The air is stale and musty, and the floor and walls are painted in a fine layer of dust. The only furniture of note is a plain wooden table. Perched on that table is a pristine blade. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. I'm just gonna enter the basement. Or should I take it? Let's take it. You take the blade from the table. It'd be rather difficult to slay the princess and save the world without it. The door to the basement creaks open, revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice carries up the stairs. Who's there? She sounds dangerous. It's almost as if she's the one in charge down here. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. I Don't be a stranger. It's been so long since I've had any visitors. Come on down. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's so coldly beautiful. Is she really a threat to the world? Focus on the task at hand. And there you are. Are you here to kill me or something? I haven't decided yet. How about you drop the knife? And the two of us just... talk. Look how reasonable she's being. We should just drop the blade and talk things out. Don't you dare. It's fine. We can decide what we want to do after we talk to her. Maybe she really is a monster. But killing someone in cold blood isn't very becoming of us. The blade tumbles out of your trembling hands and drops to the floor with an unceremonious clang. Thank you. Against your better judgment, you step forward to speak with the princess face to face, unarmed. We'll be fine. I don't know what you're hoping to accomplish here, but I can assure you there's no reasoning with her. So here we are. What an awkward start to a relationship. Mm, I'm just gonna immediately back out. We've talked enough. Oh, have you decided what to do with me? You know why you're here. Let's see. I'm going to get you out of here. Oh, you have to be kidding me. You walk up to the chains binding the princess to the wall and give them a tug. 
They're large and heavy, far too solid for you to even imagine trying to break them apart. I'm guessing you don't have the key. Maybe it's somewhere upstairs. Doubtful. Whoever locked the princess away down here intended for her to never see the light of day. They wouldn't have just left the key to her chains somewhere in the cabin. And if there isn't a key, do you have any ideas? Well, you do have that big, sharp knife. You could always cut me out of here. She speaks with almost complete nonchalance. If we were stuck down here for long enough, I'm sure we'd be nonchalant about cutting our way out. Anything to finally be free. You attempt to make your way out of the basement, but the door at the top of the stairs slams shut. You hear the click of a lock sliding into place. Uh, let's just... Let's just give up immediately. <laughs> you make your way back to the bottom of the stairs. This would have been so much easier if you'd simply slain her like you were supposed to. Easier for whom? Easier for everyone. I heard the door slam. They locked you down here too, didn't they? The knife. Pick it up and cut me out of here. You won't like what happens if you do that. Save the princess! Against your better judgment, you place the blade against the princess's arm, just above the massive... Those big eyes chain. are so unsettling. You cut into her flesh. The blade is sharp, and you make quick work of it. Before long, you're able to crack through bone, and she pulls the bleeding stub of her arm through the iron gauntlet. She didn't so much as utter a sound. Free from her bindings, the princess turns to face you, her fierce gaze meeting your eye. How is she so composed after losing an arm? It's like she isn't even bothered by it. Thank you. Now let's get out of here. No, we won't have any of that. The stakes are too high. You can't just let her escape into the world. No, I just can't let her escape into the world. As the princess approaches the bottom stair, your body steps forward and raises the blade. Wait, this isn't fair. You can't just do that. Watch me. I don't know, like, is it just an influence over my mind? Or is there some barrier of limitation i cannot think of a good phrase but there's some extension or influence that he has over like our physical body slay the princess you bring the blade down and plunge it into the princess's back finally okay there's no going back now though the blade left a deep gash in her shoulder she barely so much as flinches turning around to stare at you incredulously are you serious? I don't know what came over you, but if we're doing this, I guess I'll have to kill you. Do you think I need both of my arms to do that? I can beat you to death with one. <laughs> Dang. But I don't have to tell you that. I'll go ahead and show you. Do you hear the conviction in her voice? Do you see that razor sharpness in her gaze? I don't think she's bluffing. Oh, she's 100% capable. Let's give up. As the blade falls from your trembling hands, the princess rears back, readying a bone-shattering haymaker. <clears throat> you fall to your knees, barely able to process the ringing in your ears before she hits you again. Every blow is as punishment. Oh, as yes. You feel Dope three-panel comic. Every impact unknown ruptures blossoming with blood somewhere inside of you. If we're lucky, the wound you manage to inflict will be enough to at least delay her escape from this place. If we're very lucky, it will kill her before she gets out. Oh, too weak to even try fighting back. How disappointing. She places a confident heel on your chest and pushes you down to the ground. Her knee falls to your throat, your windpipe crushed beneath a weight you didn't think her slight form could possibly possess. It can't just end like this, right? I'm sorry, but it's over. 
everything goes dark and you die. Thank you. You swing your arm towards her throat, the blade singing through the air. But she's ready for it. She grabs your arm, her grip like a stone vice. Oh! You drop the blade. Oh, dang! She doesn't even flinch. She lets go, and faster than you can react, rears back and hits you with a bone-shattering haymaker. There's a ringing in your ears. You're fairly certain you can feel bone grinding against bone where she fractured your jaw, but your body isn't allowing you to feel much right now, adrenaline coursing through your system and numbing your nerves. You fall to your knees. You're barely able to bring your trembling arms up to defend yourself before she hits you again. Every blow is as punishing as the first. You feel bones shatter with every impact, unknown ruptures blossoming with blood somewhere inside of you. You poor thing. I'll go ahead and put you out of your misery. She places a confident heel on your chest and pushes you down to the ground. Her knee falls to your throat, your windpipe crushed beneath a weight you didn't think her slight form could possibly possess. It can't just end like this, right? I'm sorry, but it's over. Everything goes dark, and you die. Okay, let's let's start a fresh session. I like that we got like an additional like piece of art with her just like obliterating our wrist. Let's let's do a fresh start. I I need to approach this from a different angle. Okay, let's just enter the basement. The door to the basement creaks open revealing a staircase faintly illuminated by an unseen light in the room below. This is an oppressive place. The air feels heavy and damp, a hint of rot filtering from the ancient wood. If the princess really lives here, slaying her is probably doing her a favor. Her voice softly carries up the stairs. Hello? Is someone there? It's hypnotizing. It's the kind of voice you only have to hear once to remember it for the rest of your life. Don't let it fool you. It's all part of the manipulation. You're playing a dangerous game by coming here unarmed. I'm here to save you. Wait, really? You're here to rescue me? I, I was starting to think I'd be stuck down here forever. I see. You're trying to get her to lower her guard. It's a gamble, but it might work. Come downstairs. I want to see the face of my rescuer. You walk down the stairs and lock eyes with the princess. There's a heavy chain around her wrist, binding her to the far wall of the basement. She's beautiful. How could someone like this be a threat to anyone? I am begging you to stay focused. There's a lot riding on you here. Hi! I can't believe you're here. I've been waiting for something like this to happen forever. I hope you brought something to deal with these chains. You were lying when you said you were here to rescue her, but regardless of your intentions, breaking her out of those chains would be a big mistake. Don't even try it. Um, let's talk a bit first. Okay... What's your name? Oh. She pauses, carefully formulating her words before she responds. You can address me as your royal highness, or you can just call me princess if your royal highness is too formal. Is princess her name or her title? What if it's both? Could you imagine being named princess princess? Like I said, you can call me Princess, if you'd like. So she doesn't know her name. Is she really a princess, or is this just like a persona that has been placed or forced upon her? I'm sorry, I've been down here so long, I guess I've just forgotten. 
I must have a name, though. Everyone has a name. Okay, that's weird. She hadn't even thought to pick a name for herself. Hopefully, you're starting to see that she can't be trusted. Go back upstairs, get the blade, and slay her before it's too late. If I'm the first person you've seen in a while, what have you been eating or drinking? I don't see what that has to do with anything. <laughs> oh. oh, you're trying to pull the wool over my eyes? Mm-mm. This is the only time this is ever going to happen, but I agree with the princess. That's hardly relevant. Okay, but actually, what has she been eating? She has to eat, right? She's not human. I'm going to keep you locked away down here, at least for a little bit. We can get to know each other better while I decide what to do. That seems like a pretty good compromise. I don't think I could bear being down here that much longer. Leaving her alive is too risky. If you don't deal with her soon, she will find a way out. So I'm the only one who liked that idea. <sighs> one way or another, I'm going to find a way out of here. It would make it easier for both of us if you'd help. But if you don't, I can promise that you'll regret that decision. You have to make a choice. Let's hope for all our sakes, it's the right one. Um, retrieve the blade? Thank you. You turn back to the stairs, intent on retrieving the blade in the cabin. Where are you going? You can't just leave me here. Fine, turn your back on me. But it won't be long before I slip these chains. And once I'm out of here, there will be hell to pay for leaving me behind. Slip these chains? She can't, right? She needed our help to get out of here. But you hit she has to be bluffing, but hurry. You rush up to the first floor, grabbing the blade, both yours and the world's only possible salvation. Okay, if we're sure about this decision, I'll support it. I suppose we have a world to save, after all. You slowly creep down the basement stairs. It's quiet. Where the princess oh, sat only no. a moment ago, there's only a severed arm, its cooling flesh still chained to the wall. And she is nowhere to be seen. Of course. Is it just me? Or did this room get a lot bigger? Hello? I think we got off on the wrong foot. Do you think we can start over? She's lost an arm. I'm locking her down there, letting her bleed out. Hello? Why don't you come closer? I have something to show you. Let's finish this. Your eyes dart to the corners of the room. You don't see her. Where is she? Investigate the arm. As you step towards Dang the it. Room, you hear the pattering <laughs> of feet behind you, soft against the basement floor, then loud and desperate against the stairs. You turn to chase after the princess, but she's fast and has too much of a lead. She slams the door behind her before you can make it to the top of the stairs. The lock clicks into place. No! Thanks for letting me out. I'd return the favor, but I think we both know that I can't trust you to let me stay free. With those parting words, the princess walks away, her quiet footsteps eventually fading as she leaves you and the cabin to rot. You're stuck here. Alone. Well, great. It can't just end like this, right? As much as I'd prefer for things to have gone differently, I can't deny the reality of what's happened. I'm sorry, but it's over. You don't know how much time passes before the end, but eventually, it comes. The world ends, and you end with it. Ding! <gasps> the witch! New chapter! You're on a path in the woods, and at the end of that path 
is a cabin. And in the basement of that cabin is a princess. You're here to slay her. If you don't, it will be the end of the world. A warning before you go any further. She will lie, she will cheat, and she will do everything in her power to stop you from slaying her. Don't believe a word she says. Don't worry. You can trust us to get the job done. The opportunist. The interior of the cabin is a mess of twisted roots, the walls a chaotic weave of knotted wood that, almost as if by accident, just happens to resemble a room. The floor is damp and earthy, and the only furniture of note is a slab of mud in the shape of a shelf, with a pristine blade perched on its edge. The blade is your implement. You'll need it if you want to do this right. Gotta touch the mirror! You walk up to the wall next to the basement door. It's a wall. There isn't much to see here. What are you talking about? This isn't a wall. It's a mirror. Or at least... You reach forward and rub your hand against the cabin wall. I hope you know how ridiculous you look right now. Let's enter the basement. I, I doubt taking the blade's gonna help us any. No blade. I hope you know what you're getting us into. I don't. It'll always be here if we need it. Sure, that was also true last time and we still died, but we definitely know what we're doing this time. The door to the basement Ooh. creaks open, revealing a staircase dug into the muddy earth below. The ceiling is thick with roots that hang like locks of tangled hair. The weak starlight from the cabin windows behind you can barely penetrate the gloom here, only illuminating the edges of an opening below. It shines in the darkness like some kind of massive moor waiting to swallow you up into the earth. The air smells of dirt and copper. It's thick and wet, as if your lungs are being coated in mud with each intake of breath. If the princess lives here, slaying her would probably be doing her a favor. Her voice skitters up from below. Something nasty finds itself on my stairs. Come on down, don't be scared. I probably won't bite. I'm not nasty. But you are. You're a wretched little thing. I recognize that voice as easily as I recognized your nervous little footsteps coming up the path. I know who you are, and I remember what you've done. Do you know my name? She must have you confused with someone else. She seems friendly enough. Maybe we can talk our way out of this whole situation. <sighs> you can't. Unless you slay her right away, she's going to break free and end the world. There's no reasoning with what she is. Look, I'm just throwing ideas out there. I like to think out loud. I'm the kind of guy who likes a discussion. Don't we want to hear what everyone has to say before making any big decisions? Do you want to hear what everyone has to say? Or do you just want to hear yourself talk? You need to stop lingering. Your task is to slay the princess, not endlessly debate about what to do with the princess. Fine, fine. You're the boss. Thank you. Ooh. You descend the basement steps, entering the dark room below. So cool. A fire crackles in the center of the room, casting unsettling shadows across the dirt walls. The princess crouches on the other side. And there you are, once again seeming to offer a helping hand while likely hiding the other behind your back. Fine, I'll play along for now. What do you want? <laughs> Each princess 
Each version of this princess has such a good crown or a tiara. I love it. We've still got a few more achievements to go. I do want to see all the princesses, all the new demo update endings, but we're going to end it here for now. Thank you so much for joining me. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Bye!